and you were uh, part of uh, the report uh, talking about what is going on in LSU that did, in fact, uh, lead to an Odell Beckham. He's uh, the, the biggest name, I guess, uh, outside of the, the current program involved with it. I give you the floor on what's going on with LSU. Oh, uh, it's messy, and it's interesting. Um, you know, none of these are new allegations per se, but we now are seeing what LSU is trying to do to get ahead of a potential mushroom cloud situation. Uh, you know, they're, they're offering some self-imposed sanctions, including disassociating Odell Beckham, as you said. I mean, certainly one of the most high-profile alums they have uh, because he... As we all know, like I was wondering if this is the first time we've ever had like major violations just play out in real time right in front of the media. It's like, what, what are we seeing here when he was paying players uh, in the Superdome right there after the game? Uh, that the, 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 the much larger violation, uh, a booster funneled $180,000 in stolen money to the father of a player for a no-show job. Uh, and so basically they've got these football violations, but they've also got this really big basketball investigation going on. The NCAA wants to wrap them all into one big investigation and then most likely have the leverage to charge this school with lack of institutional control because basically you've got two different sports that are committing major violations. LSU is fighting very hard to avoid that happening. I'm not sure who's going to win, but so far it's advantage the, to the NCAA because they have referred the case uh, up the ladder for, for hearing purposes, uh, and so far the, the allegations are bundled together. Will it affect any play this season, or this is just for another day? It's just a, a, a fascinating headline um, that involves uh, Odell Beckham and Cash that we saw that went viral on uh, Twitter, him actually pressing a cold, hard American cash into the palms of, of uh, co- collegiate athletes in front of cameras. Um, <laughs> yeah. Does this manifest itself in any way this year, do you think, Pat? I don't think so, no. Okay. no. Uh, you know, these kind of things are, as, of course, one of the biggest problems with NCAA justice is it takes forever. Uh, and LSU doesn't even have a notice of allegations yet uh, pertaining to the basketball stuff, so... You know, I would say we will be lucky if we are reaching a resolution to this at this time next year.